So welcome to the Food Lab. Here we work mainly on three formulations, three components that are incorporated inside our product. The muscle, the blood and the fat. For each component we look on texture and we look on color. These are the main parameters that we incorporate inside the product. So inside the muscle we start with the, those legumes and beans. This is soy, for example. Yeah, of yeah. course. After that, we get an extracted powder of the protein that's incorporated inside the soy. This is our raw material, basically. Our second formulation is the blood formulation. The blood formulation is responsible for the color and the overall juiciness of the product. So again, the color is really, really crucial, so we identify the right color. This is natural color that we have here. Uh, the second very, very important aspect of our blood formulation is, of course, the taste. So here I will give you to judge our formulation and let me know what you think about it. And uh, I ask you to oh, first taste it, and afterwards I'm just wait say. For I'm not going to do yeah. it alone. I want to do it. Like but but don't say yeah. what you think about it. Just taste it. I want to so. look at him while I'm tasting it. Okay, go ahead. It has a strong taste of meat. What do you taste, and where do you taste it? Where in the palate? Yes. On the tongue mm -hmm. and back here. Back, great. The same. Mm -hmm. And what flavors did you uh, identify inside? Well, for me, mm -hmm. the, the first reaction is like uh, when you, you bite into meat. Mm -hmm. So you have, and then the second reaction when, it, when the sensors feel it more thoroughly is like when you take the end of the, of the pen, you have mm -hmm. the leftover blood and, and fat mm -hmm. and then uh, and you wipe it with some sauce or with another, another. So it feels way more strong mm -hmm. than you would feel in a normal bite. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like an amplified blood taste. Mm -hmm. yeah. And not only that, we can also implement it specifically in the cut where we want it to be. Wow. And where wow. we want it really? to achieve the, the That's fat. insane. This is uh, one of the advantages of our That's technology. That's insane, because you actually control the bite. Of exactly. the customer, you can yeah. like you can you build a testing menu. Mm -hmm. You want to make the com the customer feel it, uh, some sort of feeling at the beginning, and then more heavy at the end, and more like, and then here through the bite you can mm -hmm. control the experience. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Now the fat. So as you most of you know, the the fat from uh, from plant-based sources is usually like this. This mm -hmm. is canola oil that we have in our mm -hmm. kitchen. It's usually liquefied. So the first thing we have to do is to solidify the fat. Actually, in the pan, you can see this is beef fat. Mm -hmm. This is what we aim for. We, we want to come from this to this. And in order to do that, we have to harden the fat. And not only the texture, as in the blood, is important here, but also the flavor. Mm -hmm. Flavor is really, really crucial. So we work with our partners in order to adapt the beef fat formulation flavor inside our, our uh, final uh, components. And I again offer you to taste one of our carriers in order to feel how the beef flavor is incorporated inside the fat. So this one, this one goes actually to the printer, right? Yes, yes. Every formulation that you see here goes inside the printer to uh, combine, to be combined in the final product. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. There you go. So this is this is a carrier, a fat carrier that carries uh, our flavor formulation. And the sauce is? Uh, this is uh, coconut. coconut. Yes. Again, what flavors and where do you feel them? Describe it? I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it's easy. It feels like animal fat. It feels mm -hmm. like uh, beef fat. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. Good. Let's cook something. So finally, it's time to eat something. Yes. Saf, welcome to the kitchen. Thank you. Cheers. Nechaim. Cheers. Shai. Cheers. See, you have the sound and the smell. Really important. Shai, what are you making? Uh, I'm going to make you a small bite, um, a small toast with caramelized onion, saffron tahini, and really fine meat. What did you smell? Fat burning. Fat burning. Yeah. This is a feedback we got from chefs that it needs to have a smell. Yeah. Uh, when you put meat on the grill, you want the room to be yeah. filled with smell. And this is something that we added. Let's see. First thing, sorry, that was surprising, you can see it here, is that it bleeds. 
I didn't, by the way it looks, I didn't expect it to bleed because I thought it's going to be dry. Mm -hmm. So I took a big bite and it sprayed, which is super interesting because there is like a difference between the way the, the, the bite looks like it's going to feel and the, and the way it feels in your mouth. It's way more moist than you would expect. It's funny. It's like it plays with your mind. The flavor of grilling, I feel a lot. Like the Maya, what we call the... Yeah. The Maya, I feel a lot. The flavor profile is uh, filet mignon, uh, finished in the yeah. pan seared and finished in the oven. In, in the mixer, you have the, a little bit of the fat that you tasted, yeah. a little bit of the blood, and additional flavors that come from the muscle. And there, is there any flavor in it? Uh, only the flavor that comes from the muscle fat and blood. And no salt, no, no, no salt. salt. No salt. We wanted you also to get the feeling of the Can natural flavor. Can I try yeah. this? Oh, oh. Yeah. Now it will be even more strange. I won't tell you why, but you will understand. You okay. have some of the cooked flavors already in the raw product. Yeah. So funny. <laughs> it plays with your mind. It's like a cooked tartar. Yeah, exactly. It makes no sense. <laughs> it makes no sense. Your mind and your mouth are, are fighting. When you eat something, you have a, a lot of information that comes from what you see. Yeah, and what you expect. Like your, your knowledge. Mm -hmm. and your, it's crazy. Okay, you want to play with it? Yes. Now it's yours. Yes. <laughs> We're going to do a, a dish that is uh, 11 years old. It was formed in the early days of Machne Yuda, my first restaurant. It's a deconstructed kebab. It has a lot of flavors coming from the east of Jerusalem, which is our origin, where we grew up and we cook our heritage. So our base will be sauteed onions um, in olive oil. Then the, usually we use a mixture of uh, meat, lamb and chicken. And uh, I'm going to use your, really fine. your uh, mixture. So, so I've sauteed the onions. I'm going to add uh, some garlic. So you know, that's, as somebody that grew up in Jerusalem, now this is a dish that symbolizes Jerusalem. We had Morav Yerushalmi. Yeah, it's the now new Morav. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's really, the, the Tchina, I think, is what's the anchor of being yeah, in Jerusalem. It's a closing the circle, right? Shcha. For the Shcha, you know, it's like... Uh, yes, it's he, a... he said he used to eat it when he was eating yeah. meat. So let's see if I can duplicate it. Now, for me, I, I, see, I don't see enough fat. So I'm going to add some. You can add, we have yeah. the fat here. One of the challenges of the alternative meat industry is actually to increase the amount of fat. People tell us, but will it be healthy? Will it have fat? We have too little fat. So I'm going to flavor. Do you want to cook it raw or, I mean, how, what, what? I don't need this. This is cooked. Yeah, it, I it, just need to warm it yeah. if I get it right. It's the, the proteins are in a sense already cooked. So we don't need to really... Actually, it's reheating it, yeah. Reheating it. More okay. like reheating it. And you see here what's happening? It has this rich now uh, juice that will carry the flavors. And it, it does change in color, but not as much, right? It, it does turn into gray. Black pepper. At the end of the day, you put <laughs> Oh, now we can smell the smell. Yeah. This is the smell of an uh, old city in Jerusalem. Yeah, exactly. What is this? What are you adding? It's a cured lemon. Cured lemon paste. And the secret, it's not so secret. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of amber always makes everything What better. is amber actually? Amber, mango paste. Mango paste. Mango paste. Pickle. Now it becomes a little bit like, like what you, you would expect with me. Yeah. You see also even the color is so important, just to yeah. combine the green and the, yeah, and the meat and the red. Yeah, you would have told me, okay, if I wouldn't have seen in here a really fine meat, it looks like a self uh, cooking me something original in this um, It is, right? it's just not me. It's like, uh, I can't... Uh, we always say that uh, to make it look like meat is the easy part. Now we need to take care of all the rest. I do a lot of uh, catering events and then everybody wants to have the polenta. Catering, catering events are always kosher because it's families and you always have someone that keeps kosher. And, and people for the wedding, they want to have uh, meat. They don't want to have a dairy wedding. So you can, you can do polenta. So people tell me, okay, can you do it? Parve. And, it's, and I, I never agree, no matter what. Because you, you cannot get the, the real dish done. It's like, 
maybe even if it's good, it, it has no real connection with the origin. So I always say, no, we, we don't do polenta, we, we do everything there. This is super interesting because, yeah, Parve. <laughs> this is Parve. See a now. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, I'm impolite. Okay. Flavors is almost identical. I am. Flavor is almost identical. And the fattiness is enough. I, and I don't know how to react to the protein. And uh, I did it naturally. Did you like it? Yeah, you taste it? very much. I was surprised. This is, I, I don't know why people are still surprised. We really, we're not surprised. But For me, I'm surprised no, I because mean, I, I mean, don't know what to expect. Okay. It looks mouth. exactly like shikshuk. You have yogurt? Yeah. Exactly like you should. <laughs> <laughs> and I've done a few. <laughs> <laughs> Let's I'm say, if, if you say it's 80% there, it's a success for us. Yeah, I want to say, just write it as your milestone today. Today is a milestone yeah. for it's you. A, it, it is. The shikshu kit milestone. Deep. Deep. <laughs> Go deep. <laughs> wow, we need the music now? And must be yeah. outside. Oh. This is so good. It's a chicken. This is so good. This is extremely, extremely good. She also says she got her number. She got her number. Goof. This, if you want, by next week we can improve that. What you talked about the buyer. This is over by Shmona and Tocha Sarah. No more. Wow. Forget about. It's super tasty. It's good, good, good super tasty. Yes. You see, now you can have uh, polenta and uh, shikshukit. With the same meal. With the same meal, yeah? Wow. You know what? You can do it, nobody will know. <laughs> <laughs>